Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. But first, Hocus Pocus. I cannot believe October is over. My favorite month has come and gone so quickly. I feel like I don't have as many favorites as I do some months. I don't know why that is, but I do have some stuff that I can share with you that I really, really was loving this month. So if you wanna see what my October favorites were, then keep on watching. Let's go. I am gonna start off with this guy right here. I feel like a lot of my makeup looks I wore this month involved this palette. I feel like it's very good autumnal colors, we could say. There's a lot of versatility. I feel like I can dress it down for work, dress it up for play. The shimmers are just my favorite. It is just like the gold chocolate bar palette, which is my favorite. And if you want that palette, it is currently in my giveaway that's going on right now. So if you haven't entered and you want the palette, make sure to check that out. But yeah, this has been my favorite palette that I've been using the most this month. The next is this deep conditioner. This is the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I've been using this since July. I mean, I'm pretty far down in there right now. It does smell really good. Basically, I didn't wanna put this in a favorites until I made my final decision on it. When I dyed my hair blonde over the summer, my hairdresser basically told me to start using this to help and I can now really tell a difference from when I use a regular conditioner in my hair versus this. And this is like around the $28 mark, which isn't the cheapest, but as far as like brands that you can get at Sephora, it's really cheap. <laughs> but yeah, I've really been enjoying this. And this is, I think the only hair thing I have this month in my favorites. The next thing I have is a brush. It is a little wet right now because I just washed it, but this is the It Cosmetics Love Is the foundation brush. I think they come out with new ones of these annually, I'm not sure. But I do know that part of the proceeds of this one went towards breast cancer research. It's the first foundation brush that I've actually felt like I liked. Granted, I have not tried a lot of foundation brushes, but I like that this one, some of the proceeds went to a charity, and I have really been enjoying this. It is shaped like a heart. I don't know if you can tell because I just washed it and did a great job as you can tell. Next is a lip formula I've been loving. I have two of the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. This first one is Babe Alert. And then not long after I got this one in the shade Boss. Oh my gosh, these, this is such a good formula. I know I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but I never tried it before. And I use, I wear this one a lot like to work because it's like a nice neutral. I wore this red one, this bright red one, to a wedding we went to at the very end of September, and man, was it great. Now, I was pretty bummed. I was hoping they were gonna have like a holiday set that I could get, and I did see that they had like a holiday set with this formula, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. But I think it had half of it as metallics, and I didn't want metallic ones. I only wanted the regular ones. So I'm basically holding out until they come out with some sort of a set with the regulars. And then I'll grab one of those so I can get some more colors in my collection. So last month I did get the KL Polish Fall Collection. It's my first time ever getting KL Polish. Any nail polish you've seen in my videos this month has been me wearing KL Polish. And I will say that these three have been my favorite. So the first one is 1435. Then I have peanut butter. And finally, I don't know how to say this. Is it Zima? I don't, it's the purple one I'm wearing right now. I will say, I don't get two full weeks out of this on my nails. I don't think my nails could wear any nail polish for two full weeks, but I do easily get a full week out of this without chipping, which is very rare for me to, in general. So I think these are great. And it seems like she makes sales available pretty often. And I know she's having issues currently with international shipping, but I think she's working on that. So stay tuned. Next is not something that's new in my collection at all, but I have been reaching for it the entire month. And this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I've actually used a full one of these before. I just recently repurchased it. It is so good. It really makes me want to try the foundation from this brand. I feel like Catrice is quickly becoming one of my favorite affordable brands. And yeah, let me know what your favorite products are from Catrice. Next is something that I do not want to be in my favorites because I didn't want to like it because I knew if I liked it, and I would have to buy it. So this came in this month's Allure Beauty Box, and this is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I did not want to like it, but I've been having really bad breakouts here and here, and I've been trying so many different products, so many, <laughs> for like two months now to deal with these breakouts, and I cannot kid you. I use this one night, and the next night it's like, 
half of my breakout is like completely gone. Half of my breakouts are like gone, disappeared. And I was like, no, I don't wanna buy it. But genuinely, it seems to be working very well. I did look it up on Sephora. I saw how much it costs. I cried a little. And then I thought, well, at least I discovered this before the VIB sale started. So this might be a getting added to my cart for the VIB sale since it's 20% off. And even that is expensive. But I'm like in need of it. So yeah. Next, I have a highlighter I've been loving. This is the new Maybelline Master Chrome that they did in collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. I did last year have the rose gold as a favorite and that one is so pretty, but it just doesn't look great on my skin tone. This one I just feel like looks really, really good with my skin. I, just, I love this. I've been using it nonstop all month. It is so good and it is such an affordable price. Okay, my last things in this favorites video are all blushes, which is weird because I never like blushes but I'm randomly like getting into blush and enjoying blush, which is so unlike me. But the first one is higher end and then the second two are very affordable. So a little something for everyone in this video. The first one I got from BoxyCharm and this is the MAC blush in Cosmic Force. I love this blush. I'm wearing it right now. It is beautiful. I don't think I've ever owned a powder product from MAC. Like I was never like a MAC girl growing up. Way too expensive for this girl and uh, now I'm understanding the hype and I like it too much. And now onto the two drugstore blushes. The first one is from e.l.f. and this is a primer infused blush in the shade Always Rosy. It's super pretty, I love this blush. It applies so well. And then the other blush I love is from Wet n Wild. It's their color icon blush in Rose Champagne and it is this beautiful peachy blush. And honestly, those are all my favorites for this month. I feel like September, I had a ton. This month, I did not have as much. It really depends on how much I'm trying and using and how busy I am every month. But yeah, let me know. What were some of your favorite products that you tried out this month? Do you have any recommendations of stuff I should try out? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Poshmark down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.